hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's topic for discussion is the second kinematic variable which is known as location of location of displacement in space the location of displacement in space that can be studied under axis and planes what are axes the uh, axis uh, the or, first let us see the origin of the axes there are three axes which are known as x axis y axis and z axis of the coordinated system which is uh, of the coordinate system and these axes originates at the center of mass where does the center of mass in a human body locates the center of mass in a human body locates approximately at anterior to the second sacral vertebra assuming that the human body is in an anatomic position what is anatomic position the uh, when the human body when the human being is standing erect with a foot together at facing forward and with the palms facing forward this is the anatomic position of a human body okay now let us see the uh, origin of each of these axes individually according to the white and punjabi the x axis runs from side to side in the body and is labeled as the coronal axis and the y axis runs from up and down and is labeled as the vertical axis and the z axis runs from front to back and is labeled as the antero posterior axis these are the this picture explains the origin of the axis and this is the point at which the center of mass that is anterior to the second sacral vertebra this is the x axis running from side to side and this is the y axis which runs from up and down and this is the z axis which runs from front to back now let us see an unconstrained of the motion of a segment occurs around an axis resulting in rotatory motion or along an axis resulting in translatory motion for example if an unconstrained segment if it rotates or translate around each of these three axes that is x y and z axis it results in six possible motions of that segment of that unconstrained segment what is degree of freedom the options which are available for the particular segment for the motion is known as degree of freedom okay now let us see what are planes see now the rotation of a segment not only occurs around one of the three possible axes that is x y and z but also the motion occurs in and parallel to one of the three possible planes what are the three possible what are the three planes they are sagittal plane transverse plane and the coronal plane see now this point explains that as the segments rotate around a particular axis the segment also moves in a plane the segment also moves in a plane that is perpendicular to that axis and parallel to another axis okay now let us see these planes are also known as cardinal planes as i said that is a sagittal plane transverse plane and the frontal plane now let us see individually what wh what's the importance of these planes okay and their uh, how they are represented in the human body now let us see first that the sagittal plane the sagittal plane in the human body divides the body into right and left halves as you see in this picture it dividing the body into right and left halves the rotation of a body segment around x axis or the coronal axis occurs in the sagittal plane the best visualized the best you can visualize the sagittal plane is the front to back motions what are these that is for example if you take glenohumeral joint flexion glenohumeral joint extension this is the example of sagittal plane uh, movements okay now let us see what is transverse plane the transverse plane divides the human body into upper half and the lower half see this is the transverse plane which dividing the body into upper half and the lower half the rotation of a body segment around y axis or the vertical axis occurs in the transverse plane what are the movements which can be seen in transverse plane they are 
द मीडियल एंड लैटरल रोटेशन ऑफ द हिप जॉइंट और लेट एस सी द फ्रॉन्टल प्ले द रोटेशन ऑफ द बॉडी सेगमेंट विच आकस अराउंड जेड एक्सिस और द एंटीरो पोस्टीरियर एक्सिस अकस इन द फ्रॉन्टल प्ले ओके जेड एक्सिस एज ए सेट इट रंस फ्रॉम फ्रंट टू बैक विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एंटीरो पोस्टीरियर एक्सिस दीज मोशन आर बेस्ट विजुअलाइज फ्रॉम साइड टू साइड एग्जाम्पल दट इज अबडक्शन एंड अडक्शन ऑफ द क्लिनोमरल जॉइंट you see when you do abduction this is abduction this is adduction and one another important point of frontal plane is it divides the human body into front half and the back half okay so the plane runs in this direction dividing dividing in the human body into front half and the back half okay thank you guys